Good news, Bat fans. Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham is on the way. But what's new and special about this third Lego Bat game? Space. The last remnants of the unexplored. Lego Batman 3 leaves Gotham City far behind and blasts into space, which means visiting the JLA Watchtower, Lantern Planet and other interstellar locations. We knew that we wanted to go to space, really. Um, we kind of teased at the end of Batman 2 that Brainiac was coming. I have located it. And we knew that when we did that, right, we want to go to the wider DC universe. The reason that Brainiac turned up is because he saw Green Lantern's energy, and it's like, OK, something's going on here. So we knew that the lanterns were going to be involved. We were going to not just do the Green Lanterns, but all the other lanterns, and that naturally kind of pushed us into going, right, let's go galactic, let's go space, let's go all this cool universe that we can explore. Uh, and then with that, it was like, OK, so we're going into space. Let's do something cool with vehicles that we've not done before. You can't get around in all that space without a ride, so LEGO Batman 3 adds space vehicles, such as the Bat Rocket, and you can't have a spaceship without having spaceship fights. So LEGO Batman 3 also brings new shoot 'em up action, in the style of cylindrical space shooter Resogun. We wanted to do something we thought would be very cool for a space combat perspective, and that kind of 2D uh, kind of shooter really kind of lends itself very well to that. So we decided to do that for the Watchtower. There's actually slightly different variations of that as you play through the game, so we go to some other locations, and that, that, that that's kind of developed once more. So the Bat Rocket actually splits into two, so Robin's got his kind of jettison pod, which he can then fly around and shoot with, uh, while Batman's still got the kind of main bulk of the rocket itself. Not only the vehicles, some of these characters, like Superman, don't need a vehicle. So we wanted the idea that you can come back and play those levels as Superman. So instead of being in the Bat Rocket, shooting things down, you're literally Superman flying around, <laughs> going supersonic and blowing everything up with his heat vision, and we thought that would be quite cool. Things kind of changed a little bit. Um, so where we've we've left Gotham behind, we're sitting there going, you know what, the open world kind of city thing didn't really feel like it's going to work for this game. We felt like we wanted to do something different because we are in space and how does that feel? Um, so the hub structure's kind of changed a little bit. Um, it's now looking uh, like places like things like the Watchtower are very important. You're going to keep on coming back there. There's going to be new things to find and explore. Um, but yeah, we're kind of not looking at that open world thing, but we still wanted to make sure that we had loads of side missions, loads of things to explore, loads of things to collect while you're exploring the hub world. The planet's kind of... Uh, exist within the kind of level section so you can go to these different planets and do, do different things on them um, and it's all going to be very kind of cool exciting. This time around we wanted to give the players the option to change at any point so now we've done away with the suit swappers and once you've unlocked a suit at any point you can bring up the wheel and change to that suit and kind of really change on the fly. It gives the abilities for players to go I want to be the spacesuit and then they run around as the spacesuit for a bit and then they'll come across a puzzle they need to figure out so they'll change suits and then get to do the same again and go no I want to go back to the spacesuit I love the spacesuit. Is that a new spacesuit? Robin brings back his techno suit, but this time he can use his techno suit to hack computer panels and we basically get pulled into the virtual world. Those suits work for Batman and Robin, um, as well as Cyborg, and we're also doing it for Joker and Lex. So they're gonna have their own suit wheels. That each of those characters have eight different suits that you can change to, um, but of course they're gonna be themed to the different people. So Lex Corp suits versus Joker suits are gonna be very different things. <laughs> Yeah, it's um, a very cool kind of uh, lineup of characters. Um, uh, we can mention the lanterns, I can't go into specifics, unfortunately, but a huge roster of DC characters, not just the lanterns, but really digging into some really cool characters. Um, we wanted to kind of have a really, really kind of deep DC universe of people. Batman 2 kind of introduced uh, the JLA and more of DC world to the Batman games. This one, we're kind of really taking it and running with it and saying, right, let's, let's show all these cool characters. All right, that's what's new for starters in LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. It comes out on Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS3, PS4, Wii U, PC, 3DS and Vita. You know, pretty much everything. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Outside Xbox.